I was in Holland uh, a couple of weeks ago and wherever I go I usually go to uh, antiquarian bookshops or used bookshops or thrift stores to look for uh, you know photo books or books that uh, I like and there can be photo books or books using photography heavily and here's a find from Holland uh, that I found it in an antique shop, a little second-hand bookshop for five euros. I later found the same book in uh, in a thrift shop for one euro. I should have just got two copies, but instead of just got this one, you know, because you only need one copy of each book, and it's called the Ramp. And um, you can see it has aged a little there on the spine. And you can probably already guess from, if you, even if you don't speak Dutch, I don't really speak Dutch very well, you can sort of guess from the cover what this is all about. I'm just going to show you. So this is the, these are the end papers and you can see, um, you can see the age of the book of course. Um, you can see the basic idea. This is all in Dutch, published in Amsterdam in 1953. with some text here and uh, this is essentially the introduction and you see all the flooding and all the water so this is about um, uh, one of the biggest disasters I believe to have struck Holland in recent memory after World War II when uh, one of the dikes broke and um, a large part of the land was inundated with water and there's a book made around this uh, in 1953 So what you see is essentially, um, I don't know whether I want to call this an early contemporary Dutch photo book. It certainly is a, a photo book that clearly falls into the tradition of Dutch photo book making. Um, you know, I feel slightly guilty uh, about using this book as an example of a photo book instead of focusing on its content. But for the sake of this presentation, I'm just going to do that. So you see some of these design decisions here um, and it's very simple, very heavily based on, on photography. You can see in the, um, in, the <clears throat> in the video, get an idea of like the paper and the print quality. This is not ideal, of course, videos just like PDFs are not a very good way to look at photo books, but it's better than nothing. Or, you know, rather than not being able to see this. See these sequences of pictures. Um, mini sequences are not used all that much any longer, even though they've recently become sort of fashionable again after Paul Graham did the present. Even though that those are not strictly speaking sequences, they're a little different, but um, who is to say that you can't uh, use sequences in a book? Also pay attention to the way, um, you know, the full bleed is used. Um, this is an interesting layout here. It is joints here, even though these are two different locations. These are all, I'm assuming these are all the names of Dutch cities. So these are two separate pictures. This is just one picture. And then the full bleed. Uh, across the gutter of the most dramatic photographs. So there is uh, a lot of photography um, out there that still um, deserves to be re-seen maybe. A lot of books that deserve to be re-seen or looked at again. And they can be found in, um, you know, places where you would expect to find them, like a second-hand bookshop or in a thrift shop. You just have to look around and, and see what you find. And this is, a, I think, a very dramatic and, and very good, very well-made uh, photo book. You see a little girl sleeping here and then there's the child's toy. I will admit that I haven't read most of the text and my Dutch reading skills are really rather rudimentary and I would have to use a lot of Google Translate to get some help. So I'm mostly enjoying this book. Um, well, enjoying maybe is not the right word, but 
I'm looking at this book based on the images. Uh, here's another sequence. This helicopter rescue. Dropping supplies. Well, this is probably just trying to drop sand into the into the dike to fix it. I should have read this anyway. So this clearly is, uh, in terms of the layout and the design, this is not what people do any longer in photo books. I mean, this is fairly common, but pages with lots of pictures on, on different pages and wildly changing layouts is, um, has become somewhat uncommon. This is a great spread. Um, now, whether that's a good idea or not, I don't know. But I think there is something to be said for these kinds of very simple, very basic layouts and designs. This obviously doesn't work for every photo book, but in this case it's done uh, very, very well. And it's quite a, a devastating picture of this huge flood. the end of the book and there's a register here at the end does somebody cut this out I'm actually just discovering this now so you can unfold this and this is I can only show you parts of this this is part of the coast and you can see um, you know the inundated and this is Rotterdam here. Um, you can see the inundated uh, areas. And just to give you an idea, this is uh, the Netherlands uh, with Amsterdam being here. So this is the area that was covered in the book. And on the back you have a more text and an index of the different locations. So. Book. It's a quite a nice way to make this. So this is um, the ramp. No photographer's names are given. It's clearly not about the photographers. It's about the event, which uh, there is a lesson here for, but you know, that's a discussion for another day.